construct perpendicular perpendicular bisector of a given line segment in this type uh, the question may come the line segment of length some 7 centimeters or something like that and they will ask to us to construct a perpendicular to draw a perpendicular uh, line by a bisector of a given line segment then first uh, we have to draw a line and uh, starting point is a and ending point is b simple we have to take the radius of a greater half of the length of a b any length you can take and draw one arc here and from a as a point and draw one more arc it will meet somewhere any radius you can take so locate a point as p and uh, at the same time down also draw an arc and with b as a center draw one more arc and locate that as q if you join p and q this is the perpendicular bisector you can check with the protractor also exactly it will be 90 degrees and this line is exactly cuts this ab segment exactly half so we can say this is perpendicular perpendicular means 90 degrees bisector means it is bisecting the given line segment into two equal parts this is the procedure we have to after drawing we have to draw the steps draw a line segment ab set the compass as a radius more than half of the length of ab with a as center draw arcs above and below the line segment with the same radius and b as center draw two arcs above and below the line segment cut the previous arcs name the intersecting point of arcs as p and q join pq therefore pq is the required perpendicular bisector to ab yes here pq is the required perpendicular bisector for ab next next type of construction draw a perpendicular line through a point which is not on it uh, in exam the question may come what are the steps and uh, how you will construct a perpendicular line through a point which is not on it like that they might ask so at that time we have to take uh, some any length of any line segment and we have to draw perpendicular line by taking any point and we have to write all the steps these type of questions compulsory may come for the five marks so here the point if any point given i am taking in one point here and pq is one line segment and here a point is given in the exam they might give pq line and a point or they won't give just scenario they will give and they will ask to construct a perpendicular line through a given point to a pq simple point a is given take in um, take any with any radius draw one line draw an arc on pq appropriate radius it should cut it should cut the line pq anyway here one arc here one arc and make a point here m and here n with that m n points with the same radius with m as center draw one more arc same like that with n as center draw another arc that both arcs will meet at point b now if you join a with b this is the perpendicular line to line pq simple these arcs and all everything should be there then only who are correcting our papers easily find out okay according to the processor only they have drawn like that otherwise without these arcs and without these anything they can easily find out without preparation they came to the exam and they are uh, by using protractor they simply located like that they will observe that's why remember the steps one after one 
here point A is given with any appropriate radius cut PQ at M and this side N with that same radius with M as center and draw one arc with such same radius with N as center draw one arc that both arcs will meet at point B now join AB AB is the perpendicular line to PQ and A is the given point here the same steps whatever I explain it is here now construct angle PQR equal to 40 degrees this is very easy they didn't mention with compass or without compass nothing so directly we can draw one uh, lines ray ray means one side is a fixed point and it can be prolonged to to infinity length so qr is a ray and just keep the protractor at uh, q now we have to construct what 40 degrees at 40 degrees locate a point and keep that as r now join Q with Q with R. This is the 40 degrees. Like that, we have to draw. Next, angle bisector. This is a very important topic. They might give some angle and they may ask. Uh, draw the angle bisector here first angle is PQR angle PQR is 40 degrees I am going to draw the angle bisector for the angle PQR here directly by using protractor also we can we easily know 40 degrees half means 20 degrees by using protractor also we can locate but they might ask the question draw the angle bisector of the given angle by using compass here without using compass I am drawing the angle bisector just follow the steps first already we drawn PQR that is 40 degrees or 40 degrees or whatever it is we have drawn with Q as center with Q as center and some uh, with some radius draw an arc on the line QR and uh, locate it as some M and same like that with Q as radius draw on uh, Q as center and draw with that same radius whatever I have taken radius here that same radius uh, cut the QP line at point N now with that same radius N as center draw an arc with that same radius draw M as center draw another arc these both arcs will meet at point A now join Q and A Q A now the angle A Q R is the exactly half of the actual angle so I can say angle bisector Q A is the angle bisector this procedure you have to remember compulsory it may come for the exams simple first step is with QR center with some radius the steps construct a bisector of a given angle with center Q and with convenient radius draw an arc on QR at M this is a draw one more arc on PQ at N with center Q with N as center without altering radius here with N as center without altering that radius draw another arc in interior of PQR with M as center and with the same radius draw another arc with interior of angle PQR let the two arcs intersect at A join QA therefore QA is the bisector of angle PQR or angle QRP so QA is the angle bisector if uh, you want to check with the protractor whether it is correct or not also you can exactly check so already 40 degrees we located starting exactly that bisector is 
it sorry i didn't place properly yes hmm. i have taken actual angle is 50 degrees this is not 40 degrees 50 degrees so our angle bisector is at 25 degrees see here so this is 50 degrees this is 25 degrees no need to write this also why because we are not using protractor we are directly using the compass and we are doing the angle bisector next without using protractor 